This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we're reinstalling a GE wall oven clock, a numerical clock that's been repaired. It wasn't moving so they put a new motor on. I'm just making sure I'm comparing the wire the pictures of the wires that I took off the original one making really sure that I have those wires on there correctly before I turn the breakers back on so make sure you have the breakers off before you do this now I'm adding the um, metal plate that goes on the back I'm adding that back onto the clock it helps hold on the clock and there's a couple of screws that, quarter inch screws that we're just zipping back in and then we're going to take that metal plate and we're going to attach it to the front panel of the oven. The front panel has been pulled away from the oven at about 45 degrees, just enough room to allow us to get in there and do this job. You can fully remove it if you're able to pull off of the lever that holds uh, this part of the um, lock locking device, but they're hard to get off, so you can just bring that control panel back enough where you can get it in position. Lining up these, these uh, controls that go through the holes on the front panel, get them lined up, and I'm just going to gently bring this plate forward, and then there's four nuts that are going to hold that plate against the front panel, and there's pins that are part of the front panel, and these nuts go onto those pins, or onto those bolts. There's one in each corner of the clock. So I'll get those on nice and tight. And then once I get those on, I can bring the whole front panel and clock assembly back in. So just take your time. Make sure that during the reassembly, you got all the wires put on correctly. I believe there's seven wires that were taken off of the original clock before it was sent out for reconditioning. I'll put a link in the description below on where you can send it to get reconditioned. They did a good job though. I think they basically just put a new motor on. So here are the points where we're adding the nuts back in in the four corners. I'm using an angle tool to get into that tight spot. So everything's reattached and now we're going to push the wires down so they're not in the way. We're going to gently put the front cover back onto four posts that hold it up and we're going to add uh, four Torx 10 screws back in to hold it. Two, two at the top and then two at the bottom. These are really small Torx uh, screws. These are great ovens. These are, I think, back from the 70s. And uh, man, they just keep going. GE made a really good product back then. This is a very unusual one because it has the numerical clock where the numbers kind of flip one over the other. And this one, uh, after they repaired it, after they put a new motor in it, it's working really good. Just take your time, make sure you line it up. Here's the Torx 10 screw. We're going to put that in. We'll do that on all the four corners. And there's two breakers for your oven, so you want to make sure they're both off. And then once you get all those screws in, you could take it for a test. You could turn on the two breakers and set the clock by turning this dial furthest to the left. You can turn it forward or backwards depending on what uh, if you're trying to advance the time or go back in time. And the clock was working really good. It kept 
great time during the test. We also turned on the bake function to make sure that the uh, oven was still able to bake correctly. I'm going to put the dials back on. They just slip right on the post. Nice and hot on the element. And it's doing great. Back to normal. We're just adding two more screws in, though. They go in underneath the uh, bottom of the front panel. Really cool looking oven. And hopefully it'll go another... 35 years or so. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps you with your oven. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really like the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.